So, we've established that homebrew can be dangerous, but you might be asking, what should I do to keep my Wii safe? Well today, I'll show you what you need to install right now to protect your Wii. If you haven't already, I recommend checking out this video to see what you need to be careful doing. Also, make sure to subscribe to support the channel. But without further ado, let's begin. So the best thing to use to protect your Wii is BootMe. You can use it to back up your console, and even restore it in the case of bricking, but some Wiis don't have compatibility. I'll show you which ones soon. First, you'll need to launch an exploit like Letterbomb. In it is the HackMe installer. You can install the Homebrew channel with this. After installing the Homebrew channel through the HackMe installer, click, Install BootMe. You can now open it through the Homebrew channel menu. If you've already installed the Homebrew channel, don't worry, as you can still relaunch the exploit and install BootMe that way. The problem with BootMe is that most Wiis that are newer than launch don't support BootMe. They can only be installed as an iOS, which can still make backups of the console, but can't launch when the Wii has been bricked. That's why you need the next tool, which is called Preloader. When pressing a few buttons on the Wii, you can open this up in the case that you brick your Wii, and install a backup. You can also install awesome hacks. Make sure you have the Homebrew channel installed and an SD card available. Go to the link in the description and download the Preloader installer. Extract that file to the SD card. Insert the SD card into the Wii. Now, boot up the Homebrew channel and launch the Preloader installer. Here, just press the A button and the installer will do its thing. Now, you can press and hold the power and reset buttons when the Wii is off, and open up this menu. I won't show you how to back up and restore the console, but if you'd like to see that, then make sure to like the video. Make sure not to delete the Preloader installer, as it contains files needed for the hacks. Here's how to use the hacks on Preloader. In Preloader, go to the System Menu Hacks. Here, there's lots of things you can do. I recommend enabling Wimmy Fee in Region 3 mode. This will allow you to play online again and play a disk or WAD file from any region. And the best, best tool for keeping your Wii safe is your brain. Just use common sense. If some sketchy homebrew app or tool seems too good to be true, it probably is. Also, you might want to read an article one have put in the description. It contains everything you should and shouldn't do with homebrew. If you've read it and do everything correctly, you pretty well don't have a bleeding chance of getting a brick. And that's pretty well it. I hope you got something useful out of this. Make sure to subscribe, as it supports our channel more than you would think. I hope to get monetized so I can make awesome videos, and I need your subscription. Thank you for watching and supporting me, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.